Welcome to my world. Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com, and I got a quick request from one of my subscribers that talked about looping in Adobe Audition 3.0. Uh, a bunch of different ways to do this. There are probably hundreds of websites out there that will allow you to pick up drum loops um, and small pieces. I'll show you for an example real quick this dance drum beat that I got. Take a listen. There. Now that was just the one piece there. I saw a tutorial that someone gave um, that basically just took them right clicking this, copying and pasting um, on the track. And they pasted a couple times like this. They just kind of edged it over and it sounds like this. Now, that's uh, an easy way to do it, I guess. Um, it's it's an older way of doing it because there is a much easier method to do that now. Basically, with Adobe Audition 3.0, you can take your uh, drum clip or I'll show you in a second. You can do it with just about anything at all. In fact, you can do it with anything. Um, right click on it. There is a section called Loop Properties right here. Right click on that. You'll see a box. You just check this enable looping um, and then you can set this for uh, simple looping, no gaps, uh, repeats and then set up the beats per measure um, or beats every so many seconds. Uh, you can click on regular simple looping, no gaps. And then here you can transpose the pitch as well um, and you can adjust your beats per measure this way. But we'll just do the simple looping right now. Click OK and what you'll see is this little icon right here. This um, semicircle arrow uh, that's surrounded right here and then what you can do is by clicking on the file right here you'll see when you go right to the edge of it here you'll see the little um, half or three-quarter circle uh, with the arrow on there all you have to do is click and drag and you can do that until the cows come home I mean as many times as you want uh, with no gaps and it sounds something like this So you get the picture and you can take this and, you know, move that up and down no matter how many times you want. One of the requests that I had was uh, a DJ is doing some sampling work, um, doing some intros for some songs and needs, you know, an extra four or five beats uh, or, uh, you know, four or five seconds before the song comes on with their intro or their outro. Um, this is a good way to do that. How would you do that with a song versus just a drum beat? Um, I can show you that as well. If we get rid of this here, um, I have... Uh, an example for you. Um, just a quick song. So if you wanted to do a sample beat of that, just say it was the lyrics versus a beat that you liked, you can go through this entire waveform and find a section that you like. But we're gonna do it right with the beginning. So uh, for instance, you like just the beginning couple bars something just like that uh, basically what you can do is double click on that which will open up this tune in edit view and you can hit your plus or minus key to kind of get to where you want to be at and play it and right about there is where you want to end now in a looping you always want to make sure that you end um, just before the downbeat um, for the next measure uh, or your samples sound a little odd. So what you do is say right around here is where we want to be. Um, you can take off the remainder of the song. Uh, and so what you have is just the part that you need. There you go. Now you don't want that hot piece in there. Uh, so you end up taking that off. Just like that. So what you do now is go back to your multi-track and see it and play it there. Now, it wasn't very clean, so I'll show you what happens. When you right-click, go to Loop Properties, Enable Looping, hit OK, and then stretch this out, this is what it'll sound like.
there. So the looping's in there, but it's not very clean. So what you need to do is once you have this enabled, every time you go back to your edit view and you clean this up a little bit by taking some more of that out, every time you go back to your multi-track, it'll already be uh, arranged and adjusted in here. So you just go back to the beginning. So there's still a, just a little bit um, of delay in there that you don't want. So you go back to your edit view and we're gonna clean that up again right about there. Go back to multi-track and play it. Um, if we wanted to loop that, loop that piece as well just like we did before and we can stretch that out as much as we want and what you can do you can see where the loops are by these dotted lines So you can do this a million different ways. You can do it with drum beats. You can add uh, a drum track below this um, and, and figure out different tunes that way. Another cool thing to do is in the loop properties, when you did enable the looping, you can also transpose the pitch here, uh, which is going to change uh, your beats per measure. So if you wanted to kind of give it that higher uh, chipmunk effect, you may bring this up five half steps. Click OK, and it'll sound something like this. Um, and if you want to lower it again you would use a minus sign and then put in whatever it is two three four five um, and click that and that's going to lower your pitch so it sound like this so that's just uh hopefully that was easy to do uh, easy to uh, understand. I uh, thought I would just give you something quick. Instead of typing a response, I'd show you a little video response of looping in Adobe Audition 3.0. Now, I know there's probably some other tricks and trades. This is how I know how to do it best. Um, some other people that mix uh, music for a living, uh, make mashups and what have you, have some really, really cool programs. And, and in fact, I think they use Adobe Audition 3.0 as well to do some of that. So, if you do know a better way to do this, um, that could be helpful to the uh, community here. Uh, by all means, please post a video tutorial. Uh, I'll be out next week again with a, another Adobe Audition 3.0 tutorial. Please subscribe if you have any questions. Please put them on the comment section below. Enjoy.